Hey there, it's Tom the English Picker here, um, doing a bit of an impromptu live stream because uh, I've got a, uh, a nice juicy box full of jewellery. So uh, I'll just check the stream is working. You have to bear with me because I'm so rusty on uh, doing live streams. It appears, it appears that I am live. So, yeah. Happy days. Do let me know in the chat if you can hear me all right. Now, I am going to attempt attempt to show a different camera angle at some point because I have get right into it. I have bought 5.5 kilograms of costume jewelry. This is in here. Um, this was from one of my suppliers who I get media from. Uh, a lot of it's from charity shops, uh, shelf pulls broken stuff, things like that. So I'm not expecting great things, but yeah, I got five, five point five kilograms and I paid 40 quid and that was a cash. So yeah, let's get right into it. Now I will try and switch to a different camera angle, but whether that'll work or not, if not, I'll have to hike it out and just show you. So I've got my scales in case I find anything juicy. I've got a jeweler's loop and most importantly, I've got a magnet. Um, attach it to this so when I go around fairs, I have it around my neck. Uh, cool, yeah, people are in. Oh, hey, Steve. Are oh, these people doing live stream? Yeah, yeah, all right, Lex. Now, this is partly being forced upon me uh, by Lex because she's dying to know what I've got in this. So, yeah. Now, I bought this completely blind. There's no cherry picking, nothing like that. So I'm expecting a lot of rubbish. I bought mystery bags before. And that was all loose. Okay. Well, I can already see something that looks like silver, so that's good. Ugh. So there you go. It's all loose in there. So what I'll do is I will att attempt to switch to another camera. Now, this may end the stream, <laughs> may not work, but we shall see. Uh, bear with me one moment. Plug that in. Just do that. Hey, Seth Sellers, who have we got in there? Yeah, it has been a long time. Okay, it appears that I have muted myself. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, no. Such a pro, such a pro. Right, we're doing it the old-fashioned way. I'll, uh, I'll have to experiment. Um, I'll have to experiment with changing the uh, microphone settings. Nope, 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 it's fail. Fail, 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 fail. Yeah, all right, cool. Well, we'll go the old-fashioned way. I was trying to switch to a top-down I've got a, uh, I've got another webcam here, which I was going to go for a top-down view, but we'll go the old-fashioned way. I'm upside and I've gone blue. Quiet, Lex. Right, okay, let's dig into this. Um, so the first thing I can see is, well, it's like a little box thing, but... It says underneath trinket box two ninety nine, so I'm not entirely hopeful. I'll put that in my uh, my test pile to see if there's any kind of precious metal in that. Right, this was the thing I spotted straight away. Those two pieces. Ooh. Eight three five, so that's um, continental silver. So that's pretty cool. Needs a good clean. Um, 
Let's see if you can see that. Uh, uh, eight three five, just there. Just about make it out. Eight three five. It's backwards. Um, so that'll look nice, Paul. So it doesn't weigh much. I mean, this video might have to be done in different parts because there's quite a lot to go through here. But that's uh, three grams. Three grams of silver. So about one pound twenty's worth of scrap. And then uh, there's another one here. Uh, this one is also 835. So, excuse my grotty hands. I'm, I'm currently got man flu, so if I sound a bit husky, that's why. So, yeah, they're, they're nice. They look like continental silver. So, the pin needs a bit of uh, fixing, but um, that's no problem. So, yeah, two bits of silver off at the gate. So, that's, uh, that's nice. So, I've just got some bits of rubbish. Empty boxes, yeah. This this is all fantastic. Add into the weight. Um, we've got another little chain. I don't think that's anything. Uh, so that'll go in the thing to get rid of. Little bangle. It's made of brass. I've got a box here which I'm just chucking bits in for the mix lots I'm going to be doing, which is my intention. Uh, oh my god, these are a tangled mess. So we've got a bag of clasp converters. So we've got little clasps in. I'll keep those to one side in case um, I need anything. Let's just just check that they're not precious metals. Hey, Andrew. We've got the greatest clothing reseller in the house as well. No, they're just uh, they're just plated. I've got to be extremely careful. I do not drop any of this on the floor um, because my son will inevitably eat it. So uh, then we've got a really nice chunky bangle, which is really heavy. Priced at six pound fifty on the inside. We'll be getting into jewelry next. Mr. Stark, where did the mystery box come from? It's from a contact of mine who, um, he's an antiques dealer, um, and he gets all sorts of stuff. I buy a lot of media off him, a lot of CDs I get from him. But he does get mixed lots of uh, costume jewelry. He's vague at best about where he gets them from, I think because he doesn't want me to know and sort of circumvent him. So, yeah, this is a, an unusual piece. So uh, yeah, it's got got certainly got a bit of an unusual look to it. Um, it's been fixed at some point with a twisty tie, so it doesn't need a bit of repair work. And the back's got little charms and stuff on it. No name that I can see, but unusual piece. Put that to one side. Uh, a bit of leather bangle that can be in there. Try and whiz through this as quick as I can. Another little bangly thing. I've got so much costume jewelry to go through. I've not just this, but other stuff. This looks like sort of African beadwork. Um, so that's cool. A uh, nice brooch, and it's missing a couple of stones. So I can do in a, a vintage lot. I have a bag of bits here. Ooh, that looks interesting. I'll go through that in a sec. And then we've got a thing wrapped around a thing. What's this? Uh, it's a hair tying up thing. Okay. We've got some kind of brooch. I've had stuff like this before. The name escapes me what it's called. Uh, but I've had pieces like that. Yeah, if you're waiting for the gold and silver rings, you might be waiting a while. I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not full of hope. I don't want to lead you all down the garden path thinking I'm going to be pulling out some absolute belters, but we shall see. Right, we have got a stone of some sort. It looks like, kind of like tiger eye, maybe. Yeah, I think it's tiger eye. Uh, probably with a silver piece. Um. Oh, cheers, Tom. Yeah, I've, I've, um, I took a break from the internet after um, uh, Dickhead of the Week Gate. Um, so, 
Tigray and a bit of silver. That will most likely be like a homemade piece. Um, mm, cool. Right, we've got another piece in here, some kind of. What's this say? Made in India. It's all there. Whatever it may be. I think most of this is going to end up in the job lots. Ooh, got a little, uh, little skeleton. Half a skeleton. That's cool. Put that in the testing pile. Ooh, a little pouch. Vivian Westwood, eh? Nice. Opinions? Uh, it's got some kind of mark on the back. Let's see if we can get closer for that. Where are we? That's really bad. Just there. I think all the stones are there. They are. So, um, yeah, looks iffy to me. That does. Looks a bit cheaply made. So, hmm. yeah, fake, fake, fake. Yeah, yeah. I thought as much. All right, what's this? Somebody Copenhagen. So I'll tip this out. Got some Monet pieces. Put those. I'm putting any name stuff to one side. Uh, a bag of accessorize earrings. They can be sorted off. Um, uh, some other ones, nothing mega. They are gold plated. See, the top down view probably would have been a bit better. Ah, we've got a silver earring, is the matched one there. So, there's um, lapis lazuli and silver earring just there. Um, and its mate is not in here, so uh, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I suddenly have to go, by the way. I've got um, a building contractor coming around sometime this morning, so uh, if I do have to go, that's the reason why. So it could be a fairly long stream. So settle in with a cup of tea. Danish silver. Which one was Danish silver, Lex? This one. Not 95 in the back. I'll probably make it if the, the mate isn't there for that. I'll probably make it uh, um, a pendant. Um, this is Avon, yeah. The bag said Copenhagen, yeah. The, that's what the bag said. Um, and there we've got some kind of oh, brilliant. That's, that's exactly. Entered. God, there's so much tangled stuff in here. It's just, this is a procedure. This is this problem with the uh, buying um, job lots. Well, we've got a uh, a winner medal, so I'll, I'll, I should be keeping that one. Oh my god! Ah. God, that is so heavy. I bet that weighs 250 grams just on its own. That is proper, proper he heavy. Jesus. Feels like glass or stone or something. Weird. So that's half the Lincoln weight. Um, another little bag with a single earring in it. And oh. hey, another silver earring in it. Oh, could that be? That might be silver. Let's just check the magnet. Oh, 
optimistic. Put it in the test pile. How much was the box? It was 40 quid. So, uh, yeah. Got a um, nice little cute New Zealand pin. I'll take it out of the bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, Andrew. So it's just a little New Zealand fern with that on there. I'll test it. I don't think it will be silver. Right. Um, we have uh, got some brooches. What stuff in um, those baggies? I think I can probably untangle some of this, but it looks like some silver, possibly in there. Um, we've got a little uh, mother of pearl and gold plated dragonfly brooch. That's kind of cute. I'll put that to one side. My uh, my mum would have liked this. She loves salamanders. It's a little salamander brooch, I think, or lizard gecko type thing. More accessorised stuff. I'm getting this little bag for some stuff. Oh. You know it's high quality when it says fashion jewellery. Oh dear. Oh, we've got some kind of watch. Fairly cheaply made pocket watch type thing. I'll put that in a watch lot. Got some more of these. These are these fashion jewellery pieces. They look good from the outside, but... They're, 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 meh. Maybe someone's cup of tea, but I don't think they've got much particular value. Some uh, plastic beads. <sighs> okay. Um, this seems a little bit better. They are glass. They're, they're knotted. So that's interesting. They are rough, but they they're cold and they sound like glass. And then they have this um, this on here, which will require testing. Um, it is not not magnetic. Um, hmm, interesting. A, a more modern clasp, though, which leads me to believe it's meant to look old. Um, yeah, so put that to one side and we'll check that out. We've got some, uh, is it called magnetite, hematite, Hem hematite. Little hematite broken bracelet thing that's all sticking to itself. Yeah, you have, James. You've got to take a, take a chance on these sort of things. Got a little enameled sort of cloisonne style Brooch. Right, what have we got? It just looks like. Now you've got to watch out with some of these before. What I've done is I've stuck my hand in and stuck it straight into a um, like a hat pin. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think we've got our first bit of gold. We have. It is a. I will put money on that. This is a. Let me. Uh, let me clean this one up. It's a bit bent. It's missing a few stones. Let's see if you'll focus on that. Get my my grotty face out of the way. Let's see if we can get you. God, my loop really needs cleaning. You see there, it's a nice eternity ring. It is missing some stones. You can see just there. God, this is the most ghetto setup. Yay. Happy days. Let's chuck that on the scale. I reckon it's, a, it's does not heavy. It's about one and a half grams. 1.23 grams. So not loads. No markings that I can see. Um, 
I can't see anything. The not a lot of mark marks. A lot of these I've had in the past have been silver with a gold edging, but this is solid. But these I've got my diamond tested. These do look like diamonds. Um, yeah, I'd put money on that they're diamonds as well. So that that is cool. That is a result. So um, it's missing one, two. It's missing two stones that are opposite each other. Now you could get away with wearing it still, and with with those missing stones. But happy days, I am pleased with that. So I mean, that's you know that's probably paid for half the box. If you know, I, you know that's that's a chunk of my money back. That's a good chunk of my money back. So uh, so that's a result. I was really tested. I mean, this guy got absolutely loads of this stuff. Um, he got 10 boxes this side, so he got like over 50 kilos of costume jewelry. Uh, hey, Sue. Uh, so, yeah, um, it's potentially a future source of goodies. Um, this just looks like a plated type thing. Yeah, it's, it's attracted to the magnet. Let's see if we can get that on camera. Just slightly. So, uh, yeah. Honestly, a really strong rare earth magnet is such a valuable tool when going through jewellery. Um, it's a nice, uh, fairly nice costume ring with little hearts underneath. I'll put that. I'm going to do a ring uh, job lock. Um, obviously not with this one in there. Right, I've just had a text off my builder. He's coming in an hour, so you you're greased with my presence for a tiny touch longer. And there looks like there's something nice in here. Hmm. No, I think that's copper. For a minute, I, for a hot minute there, I thought that was another piece of gold, but it's not. That's definitely got copper. I'm sure that's copper. I will test it. Uh, I've got my uh, acid testing um, kits. So I'll pop a link to those in the description after the uh, the video is finished. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice. I hope that's uh, I really should have put hand cream on my hands or that. Which diamond tester do I use? It was just one off... Um, it's just one off Amazon. I'll I'll link it in the thing below. It, I didn't go for an expensive diamond tester because I've got a friend who works in the jewellery quarter in London. So anything that I, I'm really concerned about, I'll I'll take down to her. Um, but the diamond testers are they're only to give you a rough idea. Um, I should do a video on it one time. But yeah, it's a some nice amber and. Uh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's not marked somewhere. Poss yep, there we go. 925 with a uh, maker's mark of CU. So we'll see if we can get that on camera. If I can angle it right. Right there. So yeah, that's a nice piece. Rings are a bit of a tough one because obviously selling them online is tough because people buy them... And then they go, oh, I don't quite fit right, and then it comes back. So rings I tend to save up for when I do antiques fairs. So, yeah. Oh, I've got a nice piece of, oops, piece of dropping it on the floor. Piece of amethyst with a random price tag on it. Um, I would love that to have been Blue John, but it's some kind of banded amethyst type thing. So that's nice, nice piece. Some earrings which are not silver, definitely not. I've got a watch. Oh, I've got two watches that are attached together. That's a piece of rubbish. Oh, they're matching. They are made by nobody. Etc. Company Limited. So yeah, we've got a 
a sort of Greek style watch and bracelet. If anybody's interested in any of this stuff, just um, drop me a comment, send me a message on Facebook. It will all be for sale. Right, we've got some more tangled bits. Oh, that's a interesting looking cross. Again, price tag with nothing on it. That's a is it all the stones? Yeah, it looks like it. That's um, quite a nice piece. It's costume, but it's uh, it's got a nice look to it. Um, whether that's worth selling on its own, I'm not too sure. But nice. Um, oh, it's an earring. I thought it was um, a brooch. It's a um, mother of pearl earring with a possible silver back. Put on the testing pile. We've got the match to that random earring earlier. Ooh, we have uh, probably stainless steel, two stainless steel, free spinning um, rings. I've seen this sort of stuff. Like I'm not, I'm not giving you the finger. Sorry, <laughs> that necklace is lovely. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So these have got um, a scorpion on them. I'm assuming it's the zodiac thing. Maybe is it like a mood one? Yeah, these will most likely be stainless steel. Um, I've had stuff like that before. Got some cufflinks. Oh, yeah, some nice silver plated cufflinks. I've done a uh, cufflink job lots before. Nice little glass, art glass ring. I'm doing a job lot. We've got a broken ring. In there. What's this? This is a clip on earring of some sort. Okay. Let's look for more juicy stuff. That looks juicy. What's that? Oh, it's got marks on it. It's got a toggle and these little charm things. Let's, um, let's check out the mark. Yeah, it's got some kind of hallmark, which I think is 95. Um, God, that is the smallest mark in the world. Uh, 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 95, nice. So, little 95 and cut glass. Quite unusual, really. Peace. So, I mean, the weight's irrelevant because of um, the glass. But it's nine grams anyway, so that's cool. Right, we've got in the chat. Yeah, it's a bit of an impromptu stream, um, mainly because uh, some people have got to get going at 10, so... Uh, and because the builder was coming. Random piece of something. Actually, this is not focusing very well, but I will test that. Another ring, like the other one. Uh, random bracelets. I've not even I've not even dented this. This is a set of uh, dress clips, I think they're called. With a Marcus, it's a brooch, and it it's sort of God damn it! I don't know if it's the light in here. There we go. Can you see that? So it's um a brooch back, and I think they call it a metamorphic brooch. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while. So yeah, the two sides. That's cool. I've not had one of these in a while. Go on, Lex, you can stay a bit longer. So anyway, the two sides come off, and they're the little dress clips of some sort. Right, that's cool. Got another one of these bags with little clasps in. I'll keep those to one side, because they're always useful if the clasps break. Yeah, as soon as we've got a little thing there. 
box that says Elizabeth on the back. Uh, we have a kind of bracelet. We've got a watch made by T-I-E-D-A-N. So I've got that with my watches. Do a little watch job lock. We've got a random jewel, a tiny, tiny little jewel of some sort. I will test that. Uh, got a sort of a Delph style, I guess it's a scarf clip of some sort, but it's um, it's uh, it's printed, so it's nothing, nothing spectacular. Got another watch. With no branding, accessorize. So there you go. Right. Well, we've got here. We've got um, a little brooch. There's a little mouse. That's cute. A broken thing that says Hannah. Some Tesco earrings. Triangle, a bag of hairpins. Oh, that weighs loads as well, that's annoying. A Norfolk Broads fridge magnet. Yeah, I'm not putting that in there, job lot. Okay. Uh, this is made in China, they're studs and they are flexible. And they stick to a magnet. So they can go. Chunky ring. Another chunky ring. Oh, it's Kelly in. We have a little skull stretchy bracelet. Oh, I thought it was a watch, but it's not. It's some kind of bracelet with my butterflies on. Um, another ring from Accessorize with a missing stone. A brooch with a dog on it. That's cool. Sort of like that. Another bangle. Oh, okay, that's crap. <laughs> oh, little 925 earring. As to the pile, silver's going about, it's about 40p gram, something like that. Oh, that's cute. That's um, probably something you get from like a ski resort. The little boots on, made out of wood. And then with it was a little spider, spider brooch. Um, the handmade job looks to be gold plated. I'll put those separate. Look into those. And then I. But here in front of me, there is some bits that need further investigation. There's a Mallorca necklace. kid's necklace. There is a earring, which almost guarantee. Oh, well, the um, skeleton isn't anything. But yep, thought so. Um, now there is this, which has a replacement clasp. Not magnetic. So I will have to test that because that clasp has been replaced. So yeah. Possible. Yeah, uh 40 quid. A carved bracelet. 
Yeah, we've got another Clossone style um, brooch. Oh, got some coins that they were selling for three ninety nine apparently, and it is a nineteen sixty seven mint condition penny, the last year of the old style penny. So um, there was loads of those made, and then the an eighteen ninety eight uh, Victorian worn veiled head penny. Both extremely common, um, unfortunately. And I can see why the charity didn't get $3.99 for them. We've got a faux amber stretch bracelet. So, there you go. It's not real amber. A broken watch strap. That's going in the bin. Have a ooh, some kind of bracelet that feels like bone and has got like can you see the marks in it there? So I will Yeah, could be. I will have to check that. No, no, it's got a seam. It's got a seam. I will check it's not Baker Light though, but I'm sure that's a seam. Right, crack on. Um, a patent pending random earring, which will probably stick to a magnet. Yep. You can see why the magnets are useful, because it just um, instantly rules out what's rubbish and what's not. Get another piece there. Sorry if it's a bit loud when I love it in. Oh, this is nice. It's um if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm rubbing it on my teeth to see if it feels gritty. I'm not just randomly tasting the jewellery. It's a nice piece. Um I think this is the hematite stuff again. Don't look that bracelet you probably held dirty. Yeah, probably, but you know. I've um I probably had worse stuff. I'm not going to say I've had worse stuff in my mouth because that sounds sounds wrong. But you know what I mean. That uh, I'm going to stop talking. Um, mm, that is a hot mess of stuff. Yeah, see you later, Lex. Hair clip. Right, now Lex is gone, we can uh, talk bad stuff about her. Um, Alright, well, we're getting through it anyway. We've, we've, had, we've had a couple of good... Oh, we've got the um, match pair to the... Um, to the skeleton. This one's got its body, though. Right, um, let's untangle some of this. Got a uh, little strip bracelet. Right, there's, there's the skeleton's legs. We've got it there. Oh. Right. So we have some kind of clip and a chain of some sort. So we've got players accessories thing. Got another Katie little bracelet thing. This thing is well the charity shop wanted a fiver for it. God knows why. Mm -mm, just checking nothing uh, silver or anything is attached. Nope, that can go in the drink bin. 
We've got a long, long sort of Mardi Gras style beads. That's cute. Let's see if I can get it out without um, without breaking it. Like a native style beadwork necklace. It's nice. Yeah, pretty cool. Ooh, we've got a box. This this is heavy. This feels like a portable travel clock, and it is. Why is this in a in a costume jewelry job lot? I'm not being funny, but that weighs. I tell you, I tell you exactly how much that weighs. That weighs two hundred grams. That should not be in in a costume jewelry job lot. How's FBA going? Yeah, it's going all right, mate. Um, Amazon's just tough at the moment. It's not. It's not my fa favorite place. I've been trying to um, do more on eBay and do more that sort of stuff because it's just been really. I mean, especially after Christmas, just refund after refund after refund. It really gets you down, um, especially when you like people um, send stuff back, and it's so obvious that they've watched it, played it, and then they're just returning it. It's 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 really annoying, and they've said it's defective, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's um, can kind of get a bit demoralising after a while. Uh, I think it's there. But yeah, still doing it. Um, still um, mostly doing books. Key, key ring for BEB. -E right. We've got another ring. I'm hopeful, but then I see it says Avon. And I'm not hopeful. <laughs> oh, this, this is interesting. It's gold plated. It's a, a lip. I'm pretty sure it's gold plated. Yeah. I can't actually read what it says. Um, K. No, it's upside down. K R E N. E N T Z. Make of that what you will. And it probably will have had a little um, cameo in it of some sort. Yes, I am going to do potentially more of these kind of videos soon. Um, I, I do want to get back into jewelry and precious metals and those sort of things um, if I can. And it's just because media is so demoralizing at times um, that I'm missing the sort of the treasure hunt aspect. And if I can sort of pick up these lots and um, sell off the stuff that potentially could be pieced out on eBay to other people, um, either in lots or that sort of thing, then, and then I'm up for doing it. Um, it's on my front door. Could be. So yeah, nice piece there. Okay, we've got another ring. Uh, 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 uh. Don't think that's anything. Nope. Let me see a bit of copper coming through. I hate it when people return stuff saying that it wasn't compatible with the existing system. Do you know, the one that gets me the most is um, refunds for missed fulfillment promise, which basically means it was late. And that's not my fault. <laughs> you know, um, whether it be that posting it out, um, I post it out, again, that's the post office, or, or whether it's Amazon FBA is even worse because then that's Amazon's fault. Not mine. Right, we've got two little bracelet things with interesting look. You can always tell when something's a bit more expensive sometimes because they they have these smaller clasps and often they indicate that it's precious metal because 
Um, they wanted to use less metal to make the clasp. But this as well is not because the actual uh, jump link here that's attached to it, it's open-ended. It's not soldered together. Now, if it was precious metal, they'd solder it. Um, just a little tip. I will have to look at that. The stones look like interesting so i will put that to the side and that requires further investigation i've got a necklace here that says guess on it guess yeah so the missed fulfillment promise does my head in because i'm having to refund somebody for it being late which yeah i can understand it's annoying but refund all their money and they get to keep the item when he's a bit yeah so we've got another uh it's a bookmark with a kiwi on it so maybe that can go in with the other new zealand one we have got a piece of broken little crown on it that's cute i don't think they do i don't i don't actually know i've never actually queried it um whether they actually pay for that Or the other one is general adjustment. It's like, well, what does that mean? Anyway, it's turning into an Amazon ramp video, so how long have we been going for? 40, 43 minutes. Okay, well, nice, another nice little brooch. Dragonfly missing a stone in the middle. Right. Hey, we found a pair to one of the earrings. So we've got the other one right here. So we've now got a pair of silver Little um, sun earrings. It's not a bad lot. It's, you know, it's not the worst lot of costume jewelry I've ever had. Believe me, I've had far worse. Far, far worse than this. Um, let's run this through. Instead of pulling out random stuff, we'll run this through and see if I can actually find anything juicy. Okay, we've got a, um, a ring with a soldered in sixpence but it's um it's george's sixth which to me is probably going to be the copper nickel ones after the war but it's like a sovereign style ring with a with a, um, a sixpence in it i'll put it in a job lot um, there's, no, there's no point in trying to sell that ooh, 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 ooh. that's rolled gold um We've got a little pendant that says rolled gold. So that's cool. I know people actually buy rolled gold, so I'll chuck that in with the rolled gold. They don't pay much for it. They do buy rolled gold. So we've got a little Avon necklace with a little thing we bob. And the job blocks. What's this jersey number? Any kind of markings. all the stones it has got all the stones it's not marked um, it's made in a in a way that proper jewelry is made which intrigues me um but why it wouldn't be marked i, I don't know which leads me to believe that it's it's most likely costume, but I will acid test it. Because the only reason why they do this sort of way of how you can see the inside there, there's no material and it's sort of held up with these arms, is to save on metal, which they would do with a precious metal piece. But yeah, I don't know. It's probably silver plated copper. It's not magnetic, but it is diamagnetic, which means that when you rub the magnet over it, just above it, you can feel it wobbling the piece, which means... Hmm. I'll get back to you on that one. We shall see. Interesting. Probably nothing. I can see that there is a, another interesting ring in there. I've got a little... Clasp, which is nothing. 
We've got a piece of pewter. It's sort of like um, that Native American Indian style. It's got a brand on it. Oh, it's Denmark. Denmark. Denmark 78, and it says somebody Jen Jensen. It's not J See, if, see, if, see if you look and get her. So Denmark, eighty-seven. See that? Right there. It looks like Jensen Jensen. Have to look that one up. Obviously, I've heard of George Jensen, but. It didn't look like that. It look, literally looks like Jensen Jensen. Okay, got a little sterling stud. That's got a good weight to it. So, yeah, that's a good, good chunk of silver there. Mm -hmm. It's a good sign that that thing's made in Denmark, though. I've sold Danish stuff quite well before. That's nice. It's broken, though, which is a shame. More of this Cloisonne type stuff. Oops. There we go. Gosh, I'm creating such a mess here. Okay, I can see some silver pieces, but they are proper tangled. There we go. Oh, lovely, covered in hair. Uh, little silver piece. I'm pretty sure that's silver. And then this, almost guaranteed this is silver. If you like this kind of video, do let me know. Uh, I'm up for it. It's soldered together. I'm 99% sure that's silver with the. Uh, oh, uh, with little. Li yeah, it is. Yeah, that will be because it's got little. Um, it's not going to come out well, but you can see the pearl. Uh, like, yeah. Iridescent sort of type thing. So that's nice. It's like slices of uh, opal. Uh, opal chip, I think they call it, something like that. Mm -mm. Oh, there's a ring down here, that reminds me. So, oh, I thought I was missing a stone, but it's not. Too peculiar. Let's see that. I thought it was missing a stone in the middle, but it's got these two baguette um, stones there. But uh, It looks like it's designed to fit up against something else, like another piece. No marks on it. Jensen. Is that good then, Kelly? Jensen, Jensen. Without actually looking. Yeah, that is not marked at all. It's too shiny, which makes me think... Yeah, but uh, we'll check it out. It looks like when you get a uh, wedding ring that's designed to fit next to um, an engagement ring, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. Got a little, another little, oh, it's got some writing on it. And it says Avon. Nice. I actually had another Avon ring, which I love. Doing this one. Okay, we'll read that. We'll sort that later. We've got a very decorative letter J. Uh, it's got all the stones. 
Thanks to Jay. Cool, cool. Try and finish up this video uh, soon. Um, once we'll just get through these last bits. We've still got quite a lot to go, but um, yeah. Okay. Well, that's a hot mess if I ever saw one. Looks like a bag of fishing lures, but I've put that back in the bag. Yeah, that's a uh, nightmare for all that is. Um, some more rings. Uh, losing the will, will to live, li will to live, listing men's ties. Oh, God. So that I remember buying some ties and I don't think I even listed them. That was years ago. Funny thing is, there isn't actually that many earrings in this lot, which surprised me. I was, I was expecting more earrings. I don't know why. Um, a little tiny, tiny little ring. Let's just check that. Yep, sticks to a magnet. This is nothing. Lots of little clasps. And a piece of broken plastic. And another piece of broken plastic. Okay, what does this say? This says Links of London. I highly, highly doubt that is Links of London. That looks fake as. Heavy though. Yeah, yeah just the quality on that. Horrendous. Yeah, you can see that it's just not good quality, but I will check it just in case it could be silver. It is doubtful, right? This is what I'm having to deal with. Yeah, oh. Piece of um, costume and no branding on that'll go in the jump box. Check, check the flaps at the bottom of the box. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I will check the flaps. Someone's going to sound about that. And this is accessorized. A broken brooch, little uh, beadwork ring. Ah, that is the logo for Oblivion Alton Towers. I used to work there many moons ago. Yeah, it's definitely a lovely tangle. More clasps. All right, another interesting brooch. Uh, watching a man untangle jewelry live on the internet. Uh, nice piece. Mm -hmm. Little mirroring, which is my marks. Bracelet with charms on any brands, not that I can see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tackle this um, huge block. All right, let's clear some space in front of me. What I've done before is I've, I've untangled a load of stuff and and I thought that oh, bloody paper clip. Thought, where's my magnet gone? And then all of a sudden, I realised that my magnet's um, in the middle of the tangled block. So uh, that's always fun. No, uh, that's rubbish. Well, it's not rubbish. 
it, there's a lot of stuff that I've seen rubbish, but it's not rubbish. It's just not something that I'm interested in listing at this time. So I've got about 14 quadrillion other things that need to be listed. So I'll go out and buy costume jewellery, which is extremely smart of me. That's a nice piece. Something like that. Again, no makes on it or anything like that. Like I said, I don't, I don't mind someone else, you know, spending the time to list these sort of things. I'm sure there's money in it, but it's, it's, it's not of interest to me. Oh, new is risky saying flaps. <laughs> When's the next installment of the Dickhead of the Week? Dickhead of the Week's cancelled now. Um, they're over. Um, people don't seem to have a sense of humour, so um, they've, they've, they've finished. Uh, another, what's this stuff called? Is it Hematite? I can, I can never remember the name of it. It's like a heavy metallic stone. I should know, but I don't. Right, I've got another clock thing. This one's an owl. That's cool. Put that in with my watches. What's this? Is a harmonica. That's cool. Ah. That tastes like tobacco. Ah. Don't do what I just did. Yeah. Yeah, I can't have a jewelry hole with that now. I've got this loads of beads here. Another beadwork piece. Going down to the meat potatoes of uh, this, this tangled mess. Oh, I'll okay. put that in front of me there, and I'm going to keep that harmonica. There's another this uh, magnetic stuff. Check in the bottom of the bag and just check there's nothing else spectacular. This looks like another watch, it's branded Avon. Nice. And the watch job lock. I'll check, check the flaps as requested. Nice um, glass art piece, which I've probably just broken. Little sort of croissant brooch. Right, flap checking in progress. Uh, there is an Avon earring. Oh, that's a good job of checks. Nine two five. Nice. There we go. Yeah, cheers, Arthur Sellers. How heavy was that mystery box? It was five point five kilograms. It's not loads. Um, so there's just a few odds and sods left in the bottom of there. Nothing amazing. Nice single earring thing. Some brooches. A set of uh, gold plated studs. And I think that is everything in that bit of the tangled mess. A set of owl earrings. And that is that, I think. Let me just check that. Typically, I just threw in a, an earring. I found it's match pair here. Oh well, you can go in there. So yeah, that is the box. 
so we've just got this tangled mess to look through. We are done. And that looks like silver. Right there, there's an earring attached. So, uh, yeah, I will try and do a follow-up video of this, just saying, you know, what I've got, that sort of thing, if I can. Took me long enough just to work out how to go blooming live. Off topic of seeing the new... No, not seen Sonic yet. I want to. Um, I've seen with the Birds of Prey. I do need to uh, go and see that. I haven't even seen the Joker one yet, so. Gosh damn it. This is so tangled. That is definitely silver, that, that bit is. So I will untangle that later. It's broken, so it's like probably 50p's worth of silver. Keep that. So, yeah, this is the, the reality of buying job lots that there's a whole heap tangled heap of stuff that you've got to go through which I used to find interesting now I just don't think about it too much and just methodically plod through it next branded necklace another one I'm just whizzing through just to drop it on the floor uh, just to check that there's no you know bits that are jumping out at me I did find gold which I'm surprised at that is very random. Like a lipstick. Or a bullet. Looks more like a lipstick. Any ideas, anyone? It doesn't even look like it's broken off anything. It looks like literally that's it. Random. Sitting with a movie and untangling jewelry. Yeah, I guess so. I guess it's one of those things that it can be quite therapeutic. A set of hoops. There. I think this will be a project for another day. Just untangle it and see what's what's there. Anything salvageable? Well, thanks everyone for joining me. I hope this has been sort of interesting. I thought, well, I'm at home, I'm feeling like crap. Um, I might as well jump online and uh, have a moan. This this box has been sitting in my car for like two days. <laughs> I went down there to go and buy some more media off the bloke, and uh, I thought, oh, I'll just, I'll just get some, just see what it's like. Hey, it's all right. I mean, to be honest, to be honest, I'll still make money off it because I'll, I'll sell the job lots to people who, who fancy, you know, pissing it out and making things. Cute little bear, bear key ring thing. There's not as much stuff with, oh, as I say that, there's ladies not hanging. You can tell some of it does come from charity because it's still got the tags on, but not as much as I, I thought there was going to be. I mean, I've had stuff before where it's literally all labelled up. Um, so yeah I shall continue on searching off camera and if there's any absolute beauties I will let you know I did have another lot of costume jewellery uh, which I was going to do on stream it's about 10 kilos and I got a bit too excited and um, looked at that and pulled out any gems in the car park so I've only got the stuff which I've already pulled the gems out of so yeah, it's not going to be as as interesting. Because um, certainly when I watch videos, that's why I want to see. I want to see if there's any absolute cracking binds in there. But no, it appears everything else is just costume, which is fine. You know, it, that is that is not. I, I wouldn't buy this to buy. You know, just that really. Uh, this is sort of the cherry on the cake as such. Happy with the gold. There's a bit of silver there. Some randomness to look up. And yeah, so there you go. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for the 20-odd people who joined in randomly. Uh, 
I'm going to go and have some early dinner, I think, and then probably go back to bed until the uh, until the building contractor comes, and um, then I can just go back to bed after that and die for a bit. So yeah, fun game. So thanks everyone for watching. If you like this kind of video, sorry for kicking the screen. If you like this kind of video, hit the subscribe button down here somewhere if you're watching this after the fact. Also, if you see anything in there which I've completely missed and that's worth an absolute fortune, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you like these kind of videos, smash that like button. And yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I will come back with a video probably about Amazon soon. Um, I've got some unboxings to do, for, to do for some Lego and also some media as well. I've got an absolute ton of media to get through. So I've, I've got probably 400 DVD box sets in my car at the moment. And I've got some gaming stuff as well. I just bought a load of PS1 stuff. So, yeah, fun and games. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.